Good evening, everybody. I'm Tony. And I'm going to talk to you about the journey of an adoptee. A journey which begins in the birth mother's womb and continues on the ups and downs of life. You know, a journey that we always felt different. I'm adopted. I'm the eldest of three adopted children. You know, my story, it doesn't tell that story, that glossy story of, you know, that adoptee uh, meeting the per birth parents and living happily ever after. For me, my story tells the reality of adoption in Ireland. That journey of loss and separation. I'm just going to share a little story with you. You know, and I, I call this the knock on the door. You know, when I was six years of age, a knock came to the door. And uh, my mother answered the door. And at the door was a priest. And he came in. I was ushered away. And over the next few days, I sensed a lot of emotion. And I sensed a lot of sadness, you know. And it's that sadness and that loss. My sister, Orla, was taken back, you know. That's part of the adoption process. You know, so it's that loss and separation, you know. That fear of all that, you know. That knock on the door coming for me, you know. But like, like that, you know, I found myself, as I grew, I dreamt a lot. I dreamt about seeing someone I actually looked like, you know. I also fantasised about seeing someone who was kind of famous that I looked like as well. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's that, that place, you know, uh, there is a lot of luck and fortune. I believe that I was lucky. I was lucky to be matched with uh, parents who I'm forever grateful to. You know, I loved them dearly. They gave me a really great quality of life. And, you know, it was, it was just, it's fantastic. And they t still play a huge part in my life, you know. But it's that place in the adoptee's world, you know, where we're in search for our true selves. And it's that fear about asking them questions, never being able to ask them questions about their true self. You know, research tells us that our genetics give us our looks, our brains, and our talents. You know, and it's that search for your true self the fear of asking that question. You know, never been able to ask it, you know. And that's, that's what brings out uh, various different things for an adoptee in various different ways, you know. So I'm going to take you on a little journey. I want you to just to imagine, you know, being in your birth mother's womb. I like that sense in her movements, sense in maybe the chatter that's going on, the music she likes. And over the next nine months, you become familiar with this, you know, and when you're delivered into this world, it's like you have that feeling of, where are these sounds, you know? And when you're handed to your birth mother, you know, then you have that feeling. It's, you know, that sense of belonging. And, and it's there that we all know the relationship between the birth mother and the child, it's sacred, it's incredible. And now let's just imagine what it's like to separate that. For me, that's the chain reaction. That's the chain reaction and journey as an adoptee. You know, that's, that's the beginning of the trauma, you know? So we call this the handover. That's called a handover. And from then, what happens then is, over the next period of time, we become familiar with sounds again. And it's, it's shared with us, you know, in a loving and caring way that we're adopted. But we actually know we're different. We really know that. We know already we're different, you know. And like that, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it, it's in that place as well where... As an adoptee, growing up in the 70s and the 80s in Ireland, there is another factor, the factor of society, that shame. The word adoption, it wasn't even whispered, you know. And of course, the other factor was that, 
You know, there was uh, unmarried pregnant girls who were pressurized into giving up their children for adoption. So these are the facts, guys. These are the real facts. You know, and it's that search, isn't it? That loss. You know, so I'd just like to share with you, you know, these, the facts around adoption. A mother who gives birth to a child and then gives up a child, never forgets, never forgets. It's always there. The pain will always be there. I mean, I know myself, as I was growing up, I, I had a lot of conflict, you know, around adoption. And okay, it was that, that loss and separation, but it was always also that possibility for rejection, you know, that rejection. And like that, um, it, it, it's down to the identity, the identity, you know. And in an adoptee's world, where you don't, you're not able to share them questions. You're not able to articulate for fear of something happening. You know, that's the place. So these fears have to come out in other ways, and they do. They come out in anger. They come out in relationship issues. They come out in low self-esteem, not feeling good about yourself. You know, that's the way it is. And but like that, then it's it's them fears. It's them real fears that you know eventually you may have the courage to take yourself to therapy, you know, and you don't present in therapy with adoption, you present with these issues I spoke about. You know, but it's that journey to find that root of what it is that's causing you the problem. And it always is the trauma of adoption, you know. So it's in that place, folks, that I'm going to conclude now and just... I, you know, I, I said I dreamt and I fantasized, but tonight uh, my dream comes true because I've shared my story, even though it's only a snippet of what it is. I've been able to share and have the courage to do that, you know, in front of strangers, in front of people that love me. And, uh, you know, it's uh, hopefully this has had a chain reaction for me and maybe it might resonate with someone else. And it might have a chain reaction for them. And then the chain reaction begins. So ladies and gents, look, it's been a privilege and thanks for listening. Thank you.